Hello everyone, I am originally, originally from Venezuela, South America. So sorry if my accent is a bit strong um, because English is my second language, I speak Spanish. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that particular. I moved to the US when I was 18 years old. I went there just to learn English, you know, and fall in love with the States. I thought, you know, the education was really good. So I got the opportunity to stay for college. I got a scholarship in a college in St. Petersburg, Ecker College. And I did a dual major in communication in Spanish and dual minor in international business. After I graduated, um, I got the opportunity to stay even longer in the US working. Got a job right after in admissions and I started growing in the admissions field, always selling education for universities and then after for boarding schools. And I did realize that my passion was to always work for education. And I can tell you a bit more about that because you're selling something that changed people's life. You know, you're selling education something that is meaningful. It's not that you're selling a pair of shoes or a bag. No, you're selling something that everyone needs in any level. It can be in high school, it can be in college, and I fall in love for that. I got a shot an opportunity um, two years after I finished college to start recruiting students internationally. So going abroad and traveling abroad and getting those students to come to the U.S. in that particular moment. And I started traveling everywhere. So my first year I went to 15 different countries, which was amazing because for my experience, I'd only been in Venezuela and the US pretty much. And I started traveling the world, working. It was a dream. And it actually was an amazing experience. And I couldn't also go back to my country because we have a difficult situation, but the opportunities that I got working hard internationally helped me to establish in one particular place. The places that I started working um, a lot and going to recruit the students was Spain. And being there, I fell in love with the culture and the country and the people. And I said, I need to come back here. I need to live in this place. Um, I think I was had an amazing experience in the US, but I wanted more. So I decided to, to do my master's degree and I found an amazing um, university there that I worked my way there, got a scholarship, and I said, okay, I'm gonna leave everything and now do my master's. It was great. And amazing. what do you think of all that education? What were the like skills that helped you the most today? Um, definitely, mind? I will tell you the key, it's meeting people from different cultures. Being able to talk to people from different cultures, it's what is so meaningful. So yes, I got the opportunity to travel a lot. And I think what I have done in 10 years, you know, it's amazing. You know, you can talk to How many so many. How in 10 years? In 10 years, we're going 25 now. 25 yes. countries, wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And, and is there a favorite? Because you have to, other than your home. Oh, the other thing is Spain. <laughs> Um, I do have to say I really like Russia. Oh, it's a different place that everyone will think, oh my God, they're so dry and they're so different. No, no. go there, meet people from there, be in the culture, be yeah. there, yeah. and you will see how everything changes. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So one of the questions we always ask is tell us about a time it was hard in your life, something that was really challenging, and yeah. then what, what did you learn from it when it was hard? What are some of the skills that came out? Yeah, um, I'll have to say, going back to when I left Venezuela, my country, um, of course I got an amazing opportunity to go and learn a new language, and at the beginning it was only for a small period of time. But as soon as I moved to the US, things in Venezuela and my country started going really bad, and I had to realize that I had to fight a lot by myself to not go back to Venezuela because I knew I was not gonna be able to get a future because of the situation in the country. Right. And I had to fight very hard to be able to one day get my family out of the country and bring them out of Venezuela. So that was a very difficult decision that I had to take very young at age because I was only 18 years old. But I got that one opportunity and being able to stay and overcome all this year, it's been now 10 years, um, and make me realize that you can always fight and find a way. 
and there is always people that are going to be there to help you. The most important thing that I learned is to ask for help. Really and there are all going to be people that are going to help you always. So nowadays, I think, you know, I'm here because of everyone that supported me during those years and helped me achieve my goals, helped me to get a scholarship for college, helped me to achieve my dreams of now moving to a country that I wanted to live in. It wasn't not an opportunity, it was a choice that I made and got the help for it. So then we always ask everyone, what are you most excited about? So tell them a little bit about your current job and tell, them, uh, tell us all, what are you most excited about now as you're setting your goals for the next couple of years and, and looking ahead? Yeah, exciting, you'll think it's crazy. Um, as I told you, I'm very passionate about education and changing people's life. And I believe in my job currently, bringing people to study on a tall ship and seeing the students changing in every port. I think my goal right now is to see them in June when they are graduating and see everything that they have overcome and all the challenges that they went through and how they're changing as a people. So, and be able to help them grow. I think it's one of the most exciting things you can have. So tell them, um, tell everybody else a little bit about A Plus World Academy, what it is. Because yes. you and I know that very well. Uh, and uh, thank you for yes. all the help you've given our family. Yes. With A Plus it's been life changing and wonderful. So tell the world a little bit more about it. Yeah, so A Plus World Academy is a high school. We offer the last two years of high school and students live on a tall ship, okay, in a boat. The, it sails around the world and students learn how to sail. And at the same time they're doing high school while they visit 20 different countries. So it's a whole experience that they get and they live with people from everywhere around the world at the same time, so. So awesome. It's amazing. And what kind of kids, because um, people listening might be interested and their kids coming. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about um, the application process and then mention how to get a hold of you and we'll also post it here oh, on the thank website. thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, so um, you mentioned what kind of kid. I will say that we don't have a exact profile, I think a kid that really wants to do this and understands what they're going to go through the whole year. I think that's the most important part. Um, to apply, just get in contact with me. Um, we'll give you the information. Um, we're looking to see students that really want to do this experience. Um, we'll look at their grades, letter of recommendations, essay, um, but the most important, motivation. Um, students are motivated to do this and do something different, change the world. Right. Okay, and then we ask everybody um, if you could make a global statement to women. So many of our listeners and viewers and all of our global sisterhood yeah. are women who are looking to each other for yes. encouragement. So if you could say one great big global statement to women, what would you say, Maria? Well, fight always. You know, always fight for what you want. You always can achieve any goals that you might have, always fight. Always, you know, fight for your dreams. You will achieve them if you do it. Awesome. And then tell everybody, just say it so they can hear it because they can also see the contact information. Tell them how to get a hold of you and what, where to follow A Plus World Academy. Okay, so you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Look us on our website. So it's A Plus World Academy, okay, A P L. You ask, so A plus literally written like that. Um, and then my name is Maria Mora. You can email me anytime, maria.mora, M O R A, at A plus World Academy .org. Um, Or you can WhatsApp me anytime. My cell phone, it's from Spain, so plus 34 637 122 488. So feel free to reach out to me. I'm very personal, I love working with the students one-on-one -on -one, and also if you any anytime want to reach out to me.